Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to part 14 of this walkthrough that is still going. God, I, th I think it's been going over a year now. Yeah, so part 14 will be the oh, super happy the fun fun game. Which will be the final key card, so we can go and meet our creator. Lisa, smart book girl, poetry environment, Lisa. Also, I got a new controller. Because my other one was busted. And I'll probably explain why I haven't done any videos. If I remember. But anyway, I hope you enjoy. Oh, Japan! I love learning about any culture except American. Okay, I'm in a stupid Japanese game, but I'm not eating sushi. Unless it's covered with chocolate and there's no sushi in it. Greetings, naughty, naughty earth livers. Welcome to the realm of Mr. Dirt. Isn't it splendid? Knock it off, Millhouse. We know it's you. Uh, sorry, but I'm the king around here, guys, and you're gonna have to deal with it. Unless you want to be my queen, Lisa. Uh, thanks, but no thanks, Mr. Dirt. But I'm so huge! And I'm the main bad guy of my own video game! Isn't anything good enough for you? Hey, the girl said she's not interested. Beat it, loser! You gotta admit, the Japanese make a heck of a DVD player. Okay! It's a smushing time! Greetings to Traveler! Mr. Sporkado wants free to Harrow Village Girl and eat turnip the size of daikon. Mr. Dirt, trap Mr. Sporkado inside stone statue. Defeat large men who guard Mr. Sporkado, and Mr. Sporkado will open gates and aid your quest. Ah, uh, Mr. Sparkle. Uh, yes, you're about to be killed by a man in a diaper. <laughs> Lisa, I'm looking at you. Is it weird? Let there be free. That, but I can move. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Oof, I say. Okay, see you later. Of loser stumping. Oh, where am oh I? Oh my gosh, I'm doing a great job. Okay, so we gotta get these lanterns and put them on these things. It's free. Oh no, we won't be free, Mr. Sparkles, yet. So we have to defeat the three bosses. Which is a ripoff of Pokemon, I believe. I'll come back here someday when I join the Peace Corps. You've broken my spirit. Teach this word as a lesson. There's also eight collectibles for Lisa and eight collectibles for Homer. And so far I'm doing a terrible job with this. Okay, so both collectibles are over there. Homer's is going to be in the right hut there, and Lisa's is going to be hidden behind the lantern. This me. I've played a lot of video games, 
you are going to lose. Fat one and Ritter Nerd. Your quest is to defeat the evil Mr. Dirt, Scourge of the Daylands, and CEO of the most evil Ring Shark Corporation. He seeks to rid forest and field of Gaion energy. Hmm. And how would you describe this evil CEO's attitude toward the old ways and the traditions of your ancestors? Most disrespectful! <laughs> Real original. To defeat Mr. Dirt, you must travel to Colors of Our Land and win back Sparklemon. Mr. Sparkle will join you with gate opening power and a Sparklemon capturing ball. My suit is riding up on me. Okay, so what happened was I bought a new computer. Well, no, I didn't buy a new computer. I built a new computer. I saved up quite a bit of money for this new computer. Me and my brother have been playing it for about a few months. And it's interesting, you know, getting like new stuff for a computer. Like, I'm not talking about, like, stuff that's been out a while, but, like, stuff that's only just come out, like, the Ryzen 3rd Gen, which I got the 3700X. And then also I got the graphics card, which was the GTX 2070 Super. And we, we, we had problems at the start when I was building it, because the, uh... The motherboard, they didn't put the new BIOS on it, so it would recognize the Gen, well, Gen 3 CPU. So, <laughs> we, we built this computer, me and my brother, and we were like, why isn't this working? And we thought we might have like already a dead CPU on our hands, or maybe there was something dodgy with the motherboard. And it's, it, the funny part is the, the thing that I was lucky about is I had my old computer, which I'd actually like bought a new stuff for that. Not like brand brand new stuff, but stuff that was decent. Well, decent for the time when I like bought it. Going back, it's, it's going back in. When did the Horizon series came out? I think it was like Whoa, yeah in January. Why didn't they render my inhaler? <gasps> anyway. I got my old CPU, put that on there, we tried putting a BIOS on that, and it didn't recognize it, and we're like, oh great, cool. So it must be, we were like, what the hell? And we tried everything, we were like, maybe it's the USB stick or something, maybe the USB stick's broken, actually you know what, I'll explain it when I get in you. Some volcanic activity, Dad. Seeing it, I mean. Oh man, there's a lava part in this thing. Those are hard. 
Oh yeah, this is our first cliche. Nice work, video game guy. Lava. Lava, as original as sand, snow, water, and jungle. That is not original at all. So, yeah, okay, so we thought it might have been the USB stick, but the USB stick worked. We checked that we'd formatted it right, and we did. And what they did was, it was all to do with what the name of the file was. So, you know, it was called ix4 something or whatever. And we changed it to like P30 or whatever. Basically, essentially, what the uh, the original motherboard drivers were, and then it recognized it. We downloaded it. Everything worked, and we thought we were done with that. And it, it's funny. I was checking the CPU temperatures at the time when it was idling, and for whatever reason, it would jump from you know 30 degrees to like 40 to 45, 50, then drop down again. And I thought. You know, there, there must be something wrong with my heating or something. Sweet. And, well, I didn't really do anything about it, and that was probably the worst mistake I made. Yeah, that was definitely the worst mistake. But, so, you know, six months down the line while using it, and I wasn't doing anything, like any gaming or rendering, anything extensive. Uh... Actually, the funny part about that is, was I was getting uh, my dad's partner a new motherboard CPU RAM because hers went and we decided, you know what, we may as well just get a new computer because I was always messing about with our old computer. Which was a nightmare. Because I'm like the computer savvy one, but me and my bros are computer savvy and I've learned a lot from my older brothers. I still got quite a bit to learn, but I know like the basics and how to build a computer and how to set it up. And it's all just trial and error, really. But I really love doing it. Um, but yeah, the, the funny part is like it. My computer went when I was like buying a new computer for someone else, and I remember like thinking. Oh, maybe one of the Canadian. Somehow a cable has come loose, or. God, I really don't know how to explain stuff. So, yeah. I went through everything, you know, you, you go through the process of checking, like, every bit of the computer. So, if anybody here, you know, is tech savvy or builds computers, they'll know what I'm talking about when something goes wrong. Because what happened was I couldn't boot, like, I wouldn't get a screen. So I thought, oh, maybe the cable for the TVs come out, or you know, you go you go through like the easy stuff, and then you start working your way up to the complicated stuff. So I started taking stuff out of the computer, checking it with like some of my old stuff, and I was. <laughs> I wasn't expecting what it was going to be, I thought, oh, maybe it's the graphics card, the graphics card's somehow gone. Because that happens, you know. So I was like, okay. And it wasn't a graphics card, so it went to RAM, wasn't RAM. Uh, I mean, there was only two things left. It was either the mug board or the CPU. And I was really hoping it wasn't the CPU. In fact, I was pretty surprised that it was actually my CPU that went. And I couldn't figure out why it'd go. Which, you know, I thought, ah, I just got really unlucky. But talking to my brother, he says, a CPU should never die like that within six months. Unless you're, you know, overheating it or, you know, doing stupid stuff to it. Essentially, if you like take all the fans out of your computer and decide to like disable where like your computer hits 100 degrees and then it will fry everything, but yeah, so I had to go and essentially get a replacement, which thank thankfully it was still on the warranty, you know, three years warranty. What am I doing? Sorry I'm rambling, but I just need to explain this. So yeah, anyway, we set up everything. 
and put in the new CPU and everything started working again, except I was getting the same problem where the temperatures were jumping up and down. It's not like bad, you know, it wasn't getting like 70 or whatever, it would jump from, you know, 35 to 50, then 40, it, it was all over the place. It wasn't like sort of smooth. Because I was like, My turn. and it was really bugging me because I was like, this, this shouldn't be right. And one thing I, I've i never checked was the voltages of the CPU. I, I've never done anything like that. So checking the voltages, it would go from like, you know, below one volt to all the way up to four to five when doing nothing. And I was like, I asked my brother about it and he said, there's something definite wrong there. So, you know, I love how I'm supposed to be doing a walk around, not talking about this game, but it's all the same stuff. I've said this before, you know, you, you go through each level. But yeah, I went on Reddit and people were asking the same question and I remember reading this post about saying it's totally normal and the downvotes on the uh, post was like, this guy clearly doesn't know what he's talking about, so I was like, okay, so there's definitely something wrong with the voltages. And me and my brother were trying to, f uh, well, no, it's mainly me because he, he said, you know, try and figure it out yourself because he's with Intel. And he knows what he can do with Intel. He's not. He used to be with AMD a long time ago, but you know that we. I haven't used AMD either, like since I did my first build, which that's going back quite a while. Um, and that was actually a lot of fun. But that that was a really easy build to do. But yeah, and apparently. Somebody came up with a fix where essentially you got to go into Windows and you got to go into the power saving settings or whatever where like it matches all the power for like your CPU and stuff like that. Like usually you'd go into your motherboard ones and change that but I did that and you know I, I didn't want to mess too much around with that. You don't want to like drop the voltage to set a limit to 1.2 or something something that the CPU isn't supposed to design to do because you could actually break it or the computer just won't boot anyway because the voltage is like too underpowered or whatever uh, I think I got that thing here hello Homer you are falling asleep yeah I know it's a boring story maybe people <laughs> who build computer stuff like that will find the story entertaining but yeah you go into the power saving and you put the max for the CPU to from 100% because it was at 100% to 99 and then you got like a minimum one which will be set to like 5% so you don't touch that one you, you touch the maximum and you change it to 99% and as soon as I did that like the voltage calmed down like it would stay at a steady you know, below one, uh, 0 0.9 volts, which, you know, at idle is great, and I'm gonna buy. So, I did that, and, yeah, I fixed the voltage, and I'm hoping now my computer will last more than, more than six months, I'm hoping. Uh, I might have explained that really terribly, but if anybody here is uh, tech savvy and knows stuff about computers, uh, I hope you understood what I said. I'm not good at explaining computer stuff or tech stuff. And the question is, why am I doing this walkthrough? It's like, wait, you can't explain stuff, so why are you doing a walkthrough if you can't explain stuff? Yeah, I, I can. I usually simplify it, though, so... Oh my god, these guys are annoying me. Alright. Oh my god. What am I doing? Yeah, that's it. And I need to get Lisa across. You couldn't singe a newspaper! Get that, and then we gotta freeze them to put them in these. Sorry for that very long and probably boring story, but you know, I, I didn't want to like start doing anything until I made sure that I 
fix my computer. Because there wouldn't have been any point of me like doing videos again, setting all my settings and everything for game capturing, and then find out six months down the line my computer does exactly the same thing. Sorry, not my computer, I shouldn't be saying that, I mean CPU. But no, it's it's very interesting getting like something that's just come out and trying to figure out all the kinks and stuff like that. Because you know, no matter what, with computers, there's bound to be something that you try to do and it, it just doesn't work for whatever reason. And, and this build was probably the worst for me and my brother. So my brother was doing it at the same time as me. He, he, he likes to build computers the same as me, so he, he likes to like check them and doing everything right, which I usually do, you know. One thing I would suggest for if anybody's got the Horizon 3rd uh, gen is buy, just get rid of the old paste that's on it and buy new paste, because the paste that comes with it, it's sort of like super glue. Like, I get the, I think it's the Arctic Silver 5, they call it, and it, it's pretty cheap and it's actually really good. Because the paste they put on it, because it's funny, I had to take the CPU out to do a few things. Well, no, the funny part is, I had to take the CPU out to replace the paste. Um, and when I took it out, the really funny part about it was that it actually glued itself to, it hadn't quite, oh god, oh, almost dead. Check it out! I'm huge! I probably just wasted so much time talking, uh, sorry guys. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Right, you gotta go up on here to get our uh, almost collectibles. I don't think there's any other way. Uh... Oh yeah, there's one down there. Let's hope I do this right. There, there we go. So, how much should I have? Yeah, four. I believe Lisa should be on five. If I'd done it right. <clears throat> so yeah, here's another recommendation for you. If you ever buy a new CPU, uh, always get paste for it, like better paste. Oh yeah, this is going to be the first uh, Pokemon battle. So I gotta, it, I got it right. It's always the same thing over and over with these battles. And then we get to use a special summon. I summon wonderful magical animal. <laughs>
Don't get too cocky, warriors. You may have defeated one Sparklemon, but you will never defeat another. I mean, maybe you will, but it'll probably take a couple times. Okay, so on to the next one, which is the freeze one. Oh wow, how did they get over did here? You hold yet, Simpsons? Oh. Yeah, Lita! Smash him like Godzilla and Tokyo! So, so, so beautiful. Come on, Emma, let's go. My turn! Oh, I forgot to bring a sweater. How can a cold place be so near a hot place? My turn! Because video game logic. Hiroshima say Lisa. That's Japanese for welcome. The Lisa means Lisa. Okay, so there should be two collectibles for Lisa and two for Homer. Okay, so there is another... Nice work, video game guy. Ah, thank you. Element enemies, nice. Steal from dungeons and dragons for only the millionth time. So yeah, you have to defeat these ice guys. It depends. Sometimes you can get it like on the first guy you defeat and then it might go up to five. It'll be a couple of times. Sometimes. It's random. Oh, wait, I gotta go around. So that's all done for Lisa. And Homer's is... Actually, can I make this? Yeah, I can. I think Homer's next one's gonna fight here. I am... No, I'm wrong. Oh, no, it's, it's over there. But anyway, we'll do this. Okay, so we gotta break another two more. Before I do that, I get one as collectible. Oh, why didn't they render my inhaler? Uh. There we go. And there's one left for Homer. There's Homer's collectible there for this part. So there was two for Lisa and two for Homer. Who do I get you there? Oh wait, yeah, I use this. Wow, I 
I actually made that. Alright, let's try this final one. And I believe these guys should disappear then. Then we just gotta set these up and then we gotta go up there to defeat the next boss. Should go in this order. Um smallest sorry. Yeah, smallest to tallest. Look, I made a stairway to heaven. Oh hell. Do 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 give me that sushi. Sushi Hold on, I thought Homer didn't like sushi. Unless it was like covered in chocolate. And with no sushi. It's my turn to play, yippee! Alright, next one. Hopefully I can figure this one out as well. So it's those two. That is just disgusting. Ningguo fixed his grammar, but good. Second one? Oh man. Well, fine. That's it though. For real. <gasps> okay, so for this next part, I think we're just going to be mainly using Homer. And this will where we will get the third cliche for this level. And here's the third and final cliche for this level. Flying boat. A flying boat. What next? An underwater plane? I don't know. I think I'd rather like a flying submarine. That'd be kind of cool. So yeah, there's two collectibles for Homer and there's one for Lisa. So all we gotta do is protect the propellers, but we just gotta reactivate them. Bring it, Skyhawk! 
So yeah, these sumos are just gonna keep on shutting them up. So you don't really need to fight them, you can just avoid them. Actually, you might be able to get this platform by the way. Or not. There we go, we're done. Okay, let's try and get this one. Hey, did it. Lisa, I'm looking at you. Is it weird? Yeah, it is pretty weird. Wait, where's he looking from? No house, I don't see it. Free. Oh yeah, there's a Hello Kitty at the front. Oh, that's kind of weird. Congratulations, you have won turn-based duff trophy. And four more from any character to increase the family's power meter. So yeah, before I go over there, get Lisa's, and then we go to defeat the final boss and get the fourth key card. Congratulations, you have won Anime Stacy. Oh yeah, also once I've done this part, you know the drill. I'll be coming back on here to do the time challenge.
Oh yeah, for this one it's gonna be burp. And for Lisa, I think it's saxophone. Oh no, it isn't. Oh boy, I bug it up. So maybe it's... My hand also has ice shards. Oh. Ah, there we go. And we're done. My summon, wonderful magical animal! Without a body, eat all day. Never up throw. <laughs> oh man, you beat the third one too? Fine, whatever. I'm gonna go cry in the temple of the two moons. So don't follow me. I mean it. Wasn't going to. Quick, Dad, you need to insert the sparkle mon into the coin slot. Lisa, don't tell me how to use a toilet. Would you tell Chuck Yeager how to fly a jet? <laughs> Mr. Sporkoro has risen from his banishment in the underworld. Now I must return to my corporation, where I am mascot for celery flavored soy chip. Selsoy kills the hunger demon, but graciously adopts his children. Selsoy, Selsoy! But first, I will cleanse the world of Mr. Dirt. I guess I should give you this key card now. Ew, no way. I saw you picking your nose with it. Dad, we need the key to save everyone we know. Just take it. <laughs> Dad! Hey, come on, guys. Take it easy. My glasses! Well, that was kind of a terrible time. 38 minutes, probably me talking too much about the PC. And there we go, got that thing. And before we do that, we must do episodes and challenges. Big, super happy, fun, fun in the game. Oh! <laughs> 
Yeah, boy, did it on my first time. Gosh, I wasn't expecting that. That was like the challenge that I struggled on. No, this isn't actually the challenge. I believe it's the, yeah, probably not the next one after this, but the final one. All right, and that's it. Done that, awesome. <laughs> I feel the sudden urge to sit on my ass and hit buttons. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Sorry for the long wait. But anyway, I'll see you for part 15, which will be five characters in search of the. Sorry, five characters in search of an author. Really sorry about the long wait, but. Hopefully it won't be another four months. Hopefully I'll be doing that one soon. Peace out.